what is going on everybody it is your boy crypto welcome back to another video and today diving back into the k-pop realm i know i said i was only going to react to k-pop once or twice a month to try to not to overload you guys with k-pop reactions but it's just been dry the nobody has dropped it i typically react to a breakdown and i'm just exploring new things trying some different avenues seeing what works seeing what people enjoy and just broadening the horizon uh and uh august d has been recommended to me a plethora amount of times i believe this is sugar from bts according to what everybody's telling me uh and this song is called august deep so if the song title is your actual name you gotta be spitting hard and everybody's telling me this dude can rap his ass off and uh i, I hold rap to a very high standard so i'm gonna be super judgmental and see if my man's got some bars uh, but before I do that, a word from the sponsor, from the people that want to save your balls. Time to treat your balls with the respect they deserve. No more clearance clippers. When you trim, they nick and they hurt. Yeah, I got some trimmers that were great. It's time to make the call. Grab the llama word 4.0 if you care about your balls. Yeah, this can save you. Can manscape while you're in the shower. They got a light indicator that will tell you what's powered. Now it is waterproof and cordless too. A light is under the blade. So when you trim your undercarriage, it will guide you on your way. And when you finish up that final touch, go grab some body wash son it's made with natural ingredients and smells awesome use my code crypt 20 to get 20 percent off when you make that right decision that you care about your balls yo shout out to manscaped for sponsoring this video this bad boy has a travel lock feature so you can click this button right here three times and it locks the blades it's got the induction charging so you literally just drop it in there when it's plugged up to the wall and it starts charging you don't have to worry about plugging the cord into the bottom of it the skin safe technology so you don't nick yourself and then like i said the body wash is made of all natural ingredients and smells amazing you literally smell like you're wearing cologne on your skin all day long not to mention it has a ton of really dope aspects about it if you're vegan you can use it it's dye free gluten free paraben free alcohol free and cruelty free and right now if you guys go download to the description and click my personal link if you use code crypt 20 you get 20 percent off of the entire store and free international shipping you can buy all this and get 20 percent off you can buy anything on there like the shirts the boxers anything 20 percent off free shipping worldwide code crypt 20 all right man let's see if you're actually dope or if people are gassing you up I'm not gonna hold back here here we go three two one bah! okay you got some snares beat gonna sound like when it drops Ooh. Ooh. that table's nuts Okay, so it's, it's a lot of Korean, so I'm going to have to try to read and catch as many punchlines as I can. Whenever I react to videos, guys, I always do it very first time listen. I don't sit there and read genius lyrics or like try to do as much research on the song to point out everything to break down. I try to show off my skills of understanding by giving you my knowledge as soon as I hear the song right off the jump. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to read them as best as I can. I do a lot better when I can hear the bars and actually understand the English version of them. But like I said, I will do the best that I can. I did not expect that aggressiveness to come out of that man's face. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I thought it was going to be a little high-pitched sounding, no like rasp to his voice. My man sounds angry, and I like it. I really like it. Well, let me back up some of these bars a little bit. Um, I think you... I, I, see, I wasn't even really expecting a whole lot of Korean going on, so let me just back it up completely when he starts rapping again and break down as much as possible. But yo, beat is insane. The snares are nuts. The voice sample in the background... I instantly want to rap when I hear this beat, and that's always a good sign. All right. Okay. okay, so he's basically talking about, or started off by saying like he's the new guy on the scene, and I expect that this August D, August D, this is when he made his solo debut with the t name track title like that, kind of like La Lisa with Blackpink. Um... So I, I like that he's immediately talking off like I'm the new guy and I'm already high ass celebrity revolt status. Only the strong motherfuckers can fuck with me. Like right off the jump, exuding crazy amounts of confidence. <laughs> 
Don't don't got got it. I'm on your list. I know the guy's a nail. So check it. Say hand work. Throw pallet. It's a alien. Automatic pallet. K-pop is a category. I'm not getting it. Say take it down. We're the answer. Okay, K-pop isn't even big enough to explain me anymore. Like I'm I'm bigger than K-pop is what he's saying. Flexing right off the jump. Uh, so it said a, a Korean word in quotes right there. And that honestly, that's embarrassing now because he sells half a million a year. So was the name of this like a previous album? Maybe. To be honest, Sahinwar, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's embarrassing now. I sell half a million a year. So did he only, did he used to brag about selling a small amount of number with this album? And now he sells just ridiculous amounts of numbers? He's a pain in his ass, or he's a pain in your ass, too far from the sugar. Is he talking about like, like his styles are just completely different? Because like what I've heard from BTS, he sings. No, does he sing? I don't even know, dude. There's so much behind the scenes information that I wish I knew. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Pro pilot, it's an alien, an automatic pilot. K-pop, it's a category, and I don't care. And it's like take a dollar with the answer. Got to shift them in first class. Yeah, I can't my feet. These beasts not enough to jump. If you want to go faster than me, you better make a reservation in the first class. If you want to grow faster than me, if you want to rap faster than me, if you want to excel faster than me, you gotta book a fucking plane ticket. You gotta go 500 miles an hour in the air because ain't no way you're even gonna come close to passing. See these beasts not enough to let me jump. Take that three ticket. My bad. He's saying he's in business class. You're back there in the economy class, so he's always in front of you. You're always behind him, kissing his ass. The economy seats are always behind the business class in the seats. Nice little double entendre right there. And he kept the plane scheme going. Okay. I'm open up my border wall. I sell to New York. Yeah, shit, come on in that passport. A to the T, to the U, to the S to the. I'm the boy because I'm the I'm the. I'm mixing up. Okay. To be a lunatic, level the Hong Kong and born in my time. Take a dollar. <laughs> I love the the tongue technology. Like this is the the anger behind his voice and tongue technology. If I'm not mistaken, that's like that's oral. That's like licking vaginas. Like that's what I've always heard tongue technology being rap wise. I've heard it several times uh, in like some underground rap songs that I've heard. Is that what my man's talking about? I'm D boy because I'm from the D, or I'm from D. Is he from a town that starts with D? I would assume. Um, and he's spelling out his name. Go get turned on by my tongue technology. Telling you, tongue technology is eating vaginas. But also saying you'll get turned on by my tongue technology as in like an intricate way of rapping that's also, that's like the main meaning of it in rap is just like how intricate he is with his tongue and the way he raps. You'll get turned on by my tongue technology. You'll get an erection. You'll get horny by the way I rap. But you'll also get horny just from eating the vagina. Okay, I'm gonna stop explaining it that way now. Hold up, hold up. Nice little flow right there. Okay, so I hunt down the copiers of the people that copy the copiers. So basically, I'm assuming some people has tried to copy his style and copy his sound, and he's not having it. And I saw right there where he says he fat dicks him, which is a hilarious saying for fucking someone. Metaphorically, lyrically, physically, any way to fuck someone. Alright, right, so, hold on. I hunt down those who copy the copiers, get them down no matter who they fuck they are. I like that straight bold right out the, j the gate. If you copy somebody, if you copy somebody that copies other people, you're just a piece of shit. And I'm gonna fuck you. A bump or a whack, and I fuck and I carve the history on the ground. I, this translation's gotta be a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I'm tested real But a nigga, I don't like to take off Talk you, cause I'm busy, I'm busy 24, so I'm shaking more shit They hear me shaking, no chain They get it, get it, no lot chicken Shake it, watch it, get my number Chop to that gold stuff But it's true, I did a mola That was to New York Damn, shit, them on the next step Hey, two, no cheat Bro, oh my god It's so hard to try to break this down When the translation's a little loose but I, I do want to talk about my man's cadence going on right here. Some of these flows that he's got going on right here, very, very precise and sounds incredible. Even if I don't understand the words that's being said, I, I can hear the syllable enunciation happening. And then, like, none of these syllables are blurring in together, even though I don't even understand the language. It's, but it's, it's a hard to, thing to explain. But my man is literally just firing off at the mouth right now. And I, I can see where he's saying, like, he doesn't give a fuck if other people are fucking around. Anybody that copies the copiers, he's gonna fuck them. Uh, Paris to, you know, to New York. I don't even have an empty day in my calendar. I'm being booked for so many shows, so many interviews, so many events. I have no time for anyone because I'm that dude. I am that dude. That's I, I like the flexing going on. That is just so sick. That dog attack analogy. Like, I just love the way that sounds. It gets me hype as shit. This song gets me hype, and I don't even understand the damn language. How does that happen? My man is straight up saying, like, I'm sorry that I'm better than you and took all the success that you're trying to get. Now all you have is good health, and your mom's going to be really upset when you lose that after I come for your bitch ass. My man is just straight savage mode right now. Savage Korean mode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, change your career. Dude, this guy is just straight up, like, mentally fucking people right now. That was wild. <laughs> that was actually really, really fucking sick. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. Not even gonna front with you guys. I assume his name is August D. I could be completely wrong because there's no A between the U and the G, and that's how you say August. Is it August D? August D. August D. August D. I, I don't know. Please spell it out in the comments for me how to pronounce this man's name. I will definitely react to some more of this guy. That, that was fire. As fuck. That was incredible. And I didn't even understand half of it. I don't even understand how that works. Dude's cadence, off the rip, amazing. Beat selection, fire as fuck. Song structure, even the song structure, it's so funny. The song structure, it was even like organized the same way that I hear like, K like the Blackpink songs. Like you start with uh, a little bit of a hook, you got a, a verse, a hook, a verse, a bridge, hook. Like it's, it, and I see that in like American music too. Uh, that happens a lot. Like there is a song structure that all these mainstream songs typically follow, and this dude is following that too. And uh, but like from a hardcore rap fans, that's sick. You gotta, you gotta admit that's pretty fucking sick right there. Let me know how you guys thought about it, and if there are any other songs you want me to react to, uh, I'd be more than happy to try to check those out. And uh, yeah. That's the end of this one, guys. I got a new song dropping Friday myself. Uh, it's not a rapidy rap one. I'm usually rapping a lot. It's me singing a little bit more if you guys are interested in that. I'll play a little snippet at the end of this. And uh, please, pre-save that song. I'm trying to get to 1,000 pre-saves. I've never gotten 1,000 pre-saves on a single before. That would be dope. But let me know how you guys feel. And until next time, it's been your boy Krypton. I'm signing up. See you guys in the next one. Oh,